morning. Welcome back to Love, Sex, and Money. Christine Regan Lake here again, and uh, it's good to be back, and it's good to have you here. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love if you would do that and hit the bell button to be notified um, when I put up new content, because I'm constantly uploading new videos. Uh, and uh, so let's go. So what do I want to share with you today? Today, I just wanted to talk to you about the joy and the pride that comes from honoring your commitments. So the reason I'm a little giggly today is because I just completed my final draft of uh, the final product for Bridget's Dying Wish, which is my fourth book, uh, my second novel. And it's a book that I was inspired to write from my father, from a story from my child, my father's childhood. And it's a deeply personal book. And I had committed to myself that I would finish the novel by the end of this year, no later than December 31st, 2020. And um, I literally just finished it like 30 minutes ago uh, on December 31st, 2020. So I'm super, I'm super excited because um, one, it just feels really good to honor our commitments to ourselves and to do what we say we're going to do, to execute when we say we're going to execute. And I'm also just um, deeply um, joyful because uh, I feel like this is a really important story that I wanted to tell to honor uh, my father's childhood and his experience with the Catholic Church. Um, and, uh, you know, it's uh it was inspired the story isn't exactly you know it's it's just in there was an incident that inspired the storyline it's not his life story but there are elements of his life story that are in there and so um you know i just really wanted to do this book for my father and for um any of the people who experienced uh, abuse at the hands of the catholic church so um I just wanted to come on here and and really implore you that if if there's something in your soul that really wants to be expressed, whether it's a book, a poem, a meal, um, you know, whatever it is for you, whatever your creative outlet is, and you've been holding yourself back or suppressing yourself and not executing on that soul. Um, expression. I would really encourage you to do it because every single one of us on this planet has a, a unique soul signature that has something to say. And it's not your job to decide if, you know, well, no one will be interested. Nobody wants to hear it. Nobody cares, right? It, it's not your job to do that. Your job is simply to to be here on this planet and to express your unique soul signature, whatever that is for you and whatever way it shows up for you. So I just wanted to take this, uh, you know, take this moment to share that with you and, and uh, really encourage you to follow your soul's mission, whatever that is, um, because there is a, there is a soul level gratification that comes from the process of giving birth to an idea, to something that you want to create and bring into fruition. And it's really, it's a feeling that, um, you know, is unique in, in and of itself and that really no other experience can give you um, to birth something from nothing that comes from your soul. So I hope you found value in that. I hope, uh, I hope that you do take action as we move into 2021 um, to, uh, to, do, to walk your path um, with strength and courage and passion and adventure and follow your soul's calling, whatever that is. So um, let's say goodbye to 2020 and hello to 2021 and many blessings, much love and light and laughter for 2021. All my best. Take care. Bye-bye.